Welcome back everyone. In the previous two sections, we learned about routing and loading data in SwelpKit. In this third section, we're going to use that knowledge to understand about the different link options in SwelpKit. We already know that SwelpKit uses the anchor tag to navigate between the routes of your application. If you click on a link whose href is not an external site, but a route within the application, SwelpKit will navigate to the new page by importing its code, which is the component code, and then calling any load function it needs to fetch data. Let me show that to you in the browser. Make sure you have the Network DevTools panel open, and you're on the home page. If I now click on the products link, you can see all the network requests for this page. We have data.json, which contains data fetched from our JSON server, code related to the page.swelled file, page.js load function, layout.swelled file code, layout.js load function, the product swelled component code, and finally, everything to do with the featured section. Now, it turns out we can customize this data and code fetching behavior in SwelteKit, which is what we will learn over the next few videos. But before we jump to the next video, let me quickly turn all these product titles into a link element. So in product.swelt, I'm going to wrap the h2 tag with an anchor tag. Slash products slash product ID. And then a closing anchor element. All right, with this change in place, join me in the next video where we will learn about the first link option that we can use to modify the data and code fetching behavior.